Hello! I'm back with another art video. This time I am doing a homework assignment that was due at the beginning of this past week. <laughs> of the time that I'm uploading this. The assignment was to do a egg tempera painting and it is legit egg tempera. Which is stupid as that sentence just sounded. <laughs> um... And you basically take the egg yolk, which I always thought was egg whites, but I was wrong. But you take the egg yolk, dry it off from the whites as much as possible, and mix it in to pigment. And we had to do an assignment of a self-portrait and portraying ourselves as a sin or a, I'm sorry, a sinner or a saint. So I actually did some research and um, found a, I don't know, I guess you can call it a character. I, I really don't know. Um, I found Lilith, who is supposed to be the supposed first wife of Adam. But she became a demon instead because she didn't want to deal with this crap. Because, you know, women empowerment and all that. <laughs> so... I don't know, I just thought the idea of her, most of the idea with her was cool. She, kind of, she is also considered a baby killer, and I do not see myself as that at all. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of neat with the idea that she might have been the serpent and stuff like that. So I just kind of did that. But, so during my, we actually had a critique for this, and I presented it. And it was kind of good feedback. I do feel like that I struggled with the skin and egg temper is something I'm not used to. Basically in this class we are going through different mediums of paint and we're actually making our own paint. So we just made encaustic paint as well and I have no idea what I'm doing with that yet but we'll see. Probably won't be able to record that though because that's actually done in class. But with egg tempera you have to slowly build up the color and I was struggling so bad to build up color on my skin and I don't know and like you can do an ink wash beforehand to kind of help with to get some of the values down since egg temper is actually really transparent it's not as transparent as watercolor but it's still really transparent so I was really and you can like add as much water as you want to it to make it more and more transparent which I guess then would actually make it a lot like watercolor I don't know I don't do well with watercolor unfortunately I would love to actually use some watercolors on this channel but I don't know if I'll ever get to it because watercolor is not my best forte I did a watercolor class and I do know how to handle it but I'm not good at it <laughs> but yeah so this is my, my face it's my face so I went out and actually got, since it's like near Halloween, there's Halloween stores all over the place and like Michaels and stuff has Halloween stuff out and so there's like a lot of black flowers and stuff. I went out and got some black flowers to paint along with this painting just so I could kind of add to something more than just my face. I got roses and baby's breath of plastic flowers just because since she is associated with uh, babies. I figure, like, if they're black and that's associated with death, that could be a good symbolism. And excuse me, I fixed the um, color. And I realized that the color was really crappy on the camera. <laughs> and then I went out and I was trying to find, like, an actual, like, rubber snake. And dear lord, I could not find a rubber snake to save my life. I don't know what it is. I guess that was just a thing when I was a child. I don't know. Just go out and find rubber snakes everywhere. But I couldn't find one. So instead, uh, it was Walmart, I believe. Had this kind of rubber, kind of not. It was It's posable to a degree. It's a skeleton snake. And I thought that would be kind of a cool idea to do. Like, because it could have been something that, you know, symbolizes something that she could have been. And I do have horns on my head. You can't really see it. Because um, I believe it's too zoomed in. 
you'll see the end product. There are horns on my head that I got from like the Ren Fair. So they were actually literally on my head when I took the photo because it's from photo reference. And yeah, um, doing normal skin is really awkward. Like I, I can build it up in marker really easy and stuff like that. But like skin itself isn't like just like tones of brown. You have like you use like blues and greens. You get more of a realistic feel to it because you do actually like, like, you your skin like the shadows are in blue and green and stuff and purples and and I feel like you can feel the shade the shading over. I don't know why but every time I take a photo I have probably because I'm so sleep deprived from college dear lord but um I have bags under my eyes <laughs> so, like, and they're really apparent in photos a lot of the time I don't know, I guess it's, I call them bags. I think they're just dark circles. I don't know. And let's see. I struggle with the color of the snake too, because I wasn't sure. But um, I feel like that, I agree with my critique though. They said that basically it's a really good painting, but like on its own, on its own right now, but it could be like a really good portfolio piece if I like work, went back and worked on it and added more to like work to the face and stuff like that. Probably like maybe like four more hours. Which I don't have. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I have... My teacher's different. He grades us, and he'll give us a letter grade, and if we want to improve on that letter grade, we can. So I got a B on this. So if I really want to strive for that A, which I might later on if I get the time, and we have all the way up to the end of the semester, which is awesome to actually get it done. Um, and also, they wanted me to build up the hair. I love how that curl came out. <laughs> that one, like, wavy curl that I have going on there. I should really add more, but... I, I restarted this painting. <laughs> which is stupid. And it took me about 12 hours. So this is really, really sped up. Um, it's about, like, 2,500 fast percent faster than normal <laughs> yeah and I added like I have frizzy hair on top of that so I added a bunch of like like waves on the side because also she Lilith is known to kill men strangling them by her hair <laughs> that was kind of neat so I just kind of wanted to get that like craziness of my frizzy hair in there Thought that would actually like help sell the painting. This is actually really small too. It's only an eight by ten, and it took at least twelve hours to do this. <laughs> I was working, and then like going home and working on this, and then going getting back up in the morning to work again, and then coming back home and do this again. It was just haywire, but I did get it done, and I'm proud that I got it done. I liked how it came out. Probably won't work on it again. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll be back soon with another video. Don't know when, but I'll try. Bye!